So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today I kind of wanted to collaborate a few things in to one video for you guys uh, Just a few things that you may have missed uh, from the upcoming update of course known as the free mode events update And a few things as well that Rockstar didn't really mention on the newswire uh, But has now been put out for everybody to actually see uh, what's actually going on So of course as always hope you all do go on to enjoy this video today and let's get straight into this so we're going to kick start this off today with a full list of the free mode events coming with this update. As many of you may know by now, uh, Rockstar, of course, did put out a brand new newswire. And on that newswire, they only really mentioned two of the brand new free mode events to be coming with this update. Whereas once again today, we have the full list that I'm going to have up on your guys' screens right now. So I'll have it kind of scroll down for you guys. Uh, so that you can kind of read through them, but I will read out a few of them as well. Uh, we have one like a penned in, a vehicular free-for-all to stay inside of an ever-shrinking and always-moving dome. If you're caught outside of the dome for more than a few seconds, you'll blow up and be eliminated from the competition, uh, which sounds very, very fun. You can actually see a quick clip of that as well uh, from the trader there. Uh, we have another one here known as Criminal Damage. Rack up the biggest property damage bill you can before the time runs out. Equip your biggest weapons and go to town on anything and everything in sight. Now, I'm not too sure where I'm remembering that game mode from. I remember a game mode similar to this. I think it was Saint Show. I'm not entirely sure, but I do remember that game mode from something else. And uh, it was very, very fun to play. So seeing that in GTA 5 uh, is going to be awesome. We have, of course, Hunt the Beast as well. As you all know, uh, players team up to track and kill the beast. Uh, you've already seen kind of what that's about. Another one here is a Kill List. A vehicle is blipped on the map once the requisite number of players enter. Uh, they must take out as many waves of enemies as possible. Pretty damn awesome there. We have Time Trial, a persistent blip on the map where players can try to beat the Rockstar part-time and world record on a route that changes weekly and just a quick disclaimer um, any of these events can happen every 12 minutes in game I believe it's every 12 minutes a new event will pop up and uh, once again you can customize your session to have as little as this as you want or as much as this as you want so that's pretty awesome there uh, just as a quick fact and one of the last ones I'm going to read out once again uh, you can feel free to read through them yourselves as well uh, on screen as well down in the description uh, but we have hold the wheel a target vehicle is blipped on the map for five minutes and players compete to be the one in the vehicle when the timer expires once again sounding very fun there uh, for a free mode event now once again if you do want to see the full list of them they will be linked down in the description uh, as well as scrolling down the screen and that pretty much wraps it up for the free mode events list and now moving on uh, to some of the other stuff one of the main things that's been circulating around the community recently all over reddit and all over forums is this one brand new screenshot from the update that was actually featured uh, on IGN, which is actually on the Heavy Insurgent, uh, as you can see by the gameplay there. Now, what's quite interesting about this is it's actually customized, and here is where kind of, uh, the, you know, the whole thing come around and how it actually kind of exploded on all of these forums, is that it has a different wheels I do believe to these stock ones, and of course it is, you know, painted as well, it does have a paint job on it, and a lot of people are saying, you know, could this mean that we are going to be receiving, you know, the ability to customize our Pegasus vehicles, which I think would be absolutely awesome. It was something that was talked about in the past, I believe, just after the Ogarn Games Part 2 update. Um, an image was released to do with chart cards and stuff, and within that image, there was a bunch of painted Pegasus vehicles, which, once again, it would be awesome if that is the case. I'm hoping that is the case, and uh, I think that definitely will be a beneficial factor into purchasing those vehicles. A few more things that I do want to point out actually coming from the trailer this time. If I quickly go ahead and grab a screenshot for you guys. Uh, as you can see in the top left hand corner there, you can kind of see how this is going to work. You have, you know, uh, a popping up saying pending is available. You can see the little pending symbol there as well, uh, which you can also see on the minimap. And uh, compete with other players to stay within the moving zone. You will need a vehicle to participate. Now, that's not what the most interesting part about this is. What's the most interesting part is a feature coming back from the last generation consoles. If you go ahead and take a look at the minimap there, uh, you can see on the player symbols there's a little tiny arrow uh, which is a directional marker for where they are facing. And once again, this was a feature on last generation consoles only, and it's now going to be in the current generation of consoles, uh, which is pretty damn awesome there as a brand new feature being introduced to the current gen consoles. And for the final part of the video today, just another screenshot kind of taken from the trailer here, uh, you can actually see what the Hunt the Beast kind of little mini marker is on the map. Uh, as you can see there by the minimap in the bottom left hand corner, it kind of has its own like minimap icon which I think is pretty cool and uh, not just your typical kind of red enemy marker and uh, I just think that's pretty awesome and just something once again to note down uh, just in case you missed it. So 
Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Once again, I just wanted to kind of collaborate a bunch of information together uh, that you may have missed or may not have known about, as well as what's kind of circulating around the community. And hopefully you guys find this helpful or did enjoy this video. Um, quick update, I'm currently working on a 10 glitches and tricks. Hopefully get that out um, during the weekend for you guys. And also as well, a top 10 clips of the week. And I said this before, um, but I'm actually currently working on it right now as soon as this video goes up. And it's basically going to be a top 10 clips of the whole entire series so far. And that I think is probably the best clips to add to that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that when it does come out. As always, hope you all did enjoy this video today. Be sure to leave a like guys, help support the video. Let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this video. Uh, that would be absolutely crazy. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all next time with a brand new video. Peace out.